Food banks and pantries are bracing for changes as inflation hits the economy. CBS4 reported on shortages for Thanksgiving. Now nonprofits are prepping for Christmas. Jacqueline Quinn gives us a first-hand look at how some are meeting the growing need. Even now, we rescue from here what, every single day. Seven right? days a week. We tagged along as Food Rescue Miami picked up a donation from Trader Joe's in Coral Gables. It's food that would otherwise end up in the dumpster. Um, what we're seeing in places where we pick up the food is not so much a shortage of food, but in some cases an abundance, as people are not shopping as much. Meaning she thinks the increasing costs have made people cut back. From the market, volunteers then take it to small neighborhood pantries. Today, it's Village Pantry in Liberty City. It started with this free fridge, but today you can come inside to get food. This community is in the center of a food desert. Sharina Jones runs what has now expanded into a community pantry, where she says more people are turning for help. Their funds are not covering through the month as they usually do. She estimates Village Pantry last year served about 150 families a day. Now, she says, because of rising costs, it's up to 300 a day. It's bad. It's really bad, and especially seeing some of the situations, you know, parents being houseless, walking the streets houseless with their children, sleeping in the parks that are in the rear of us. And the same increase displacing families are the same ones also impacting nonprofits trying to help. Our rent is about to go up almost 50% here in this facility. That's going to make it harder on organizations like Feeding South Florida, which is trying to maintain its level of food supply for distributions. So our numbers have gone down. We've had less poundage. It doesn't mean that we're not serving our families. But Paco Velez with Feeding South Florida says it's going to really depend on the community. We were experiencing food shortages that we've never seen before. FarmShare works closely with food growers, and they say farmers are hurting. Um, when it comes to not only labor, but the actual maintenance of the farm and the actual materials that need to run the farm, everything has shot up. That contributed to less output. We were short on being able to schedule as many events as we usually do during the November season. Do you feel like people are not seeing this? Yes, I feel, I feel like they are turning their heads to the need. But these nonprofits say they will not look away and will work to meet the need. And I appreciate it. In Liberty City, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS4 News.